Signing PDFs can sometimes seem like a very complex task, especially when you don't have a digital pen or specialized software. And with that, the signing of a document should not be taken lightly. You can run into issues such as your signatures being too easy to falsify. You won't be able to sign your documents without a digital pen or a touch screen. And in many cases, the easiest option is just to use ink by printing off your documents and signing them manually. These problems can turn everyday process into an unnecessary headache. In this video, I'm gonna help you with this problem and show you how to create an electronic signature anywhere, to digitally sign a PDF and prevent modification from others, to electronically sign a PDF without unnecessary printing, and to stamp a PDF to help you review it in seconds. By the end of this video, you'll know how to digitally sign your PDFs with the certainty that your signatures will never be forged. Fascinating, right? Well, let's start. Hi, I'm George and welcome back to the PDF Element channel. Before proceeding with this video, please ensure you have the newest version of PDF Element installed on your device. You can find the download link in the description below this video. And please note that PDF Element is fully compatible with Android, iOS, Mac, and PC. Number one, create an electronic signature. If you're a rental sales manager, you're probably used to performing these tasks in everyday life, such as organizing the pages of lease agreements or signing and editing them from anywhere at any time. So let's see, with help from PDF Element, how can we save a lot of time and effort, therefore maximizing your productivity and to facilitate negotiations and dealings with your customers? Creating an electronic signature would allow you to sign documents from any of your devices no matter where you are. And this process only takes a few seconds. Let me show you how to do this using a Windows device. You will first need to open PDF element and then open your document. You can do this by clicking on open file. Go to the comment section and click on the handwriting signature button and click on the plus create option. If you have a digital pen, the most appropriate option to create a signature is draw. With this tool, you can freely draw on a canvas to create your own handwritten signature. You will notice that it is very comfortable to use and you will be able to create signatures just as you would on a piece of paper. In case you don't have a digital pen, don't worry. You can take a picture of a sheet of paper with your signature and use the upload tool. Keep in mind that the photograph must have a white background and is well focused. And if, for some reason, none of the above options interest you, you can create a handwritten signature from simple text using the type tool. Now, all you have to do is set the location where you want to place the signature and adjust it so it looks just right. Look, it's perfect, right? From now on, you can use a signature that you've just created as many times as you like with just a couple of clicks. Number two, digitally sign a PDF to prevent modification from others. In some industries, digitally signing a PDF is incredibly important. It is definitely the safest way to sign a document and legitimize the identity of the author because every time you sign a PDF, you generate a certificate of authenticity. These signatures are very useful, especially to protect your documents from being modified by others without your permission. Fascinating, right? Let me show you how to digitally sign your documents using PDF elements. The first thing you should do is go to the protect section and use the sign document tool. Now you have to click on the area of the document where you want to place the signature. Now you will see a window where you can choose or create a signature as well as customize its appearance. Click on new ID, mark the option I want to create a new digital ID and fill in the form with your information to generate your signature. As soon as you have a digital ID, you can use the sign document tool to sign your documents. Remember that these signatures are password protected. This means that no one but you will be able to use it. In addition, you can lock the document so that no one else can modify it. And that was it. With this tool, you can ensure that no one else can falsify your signature or modify your documents. Number three, electronically sign PDFs without unnecessary printing. Requesting signatures can be a tricky task, especially when it comes to something urgent. As an educational administrator, creating forms and then having them signed is an absolute must. However, you surely know how frustrating this can be. With electronic signatures, you can easily send and receive signatures from employees and students just by sharing a link. Electronic signature is a PDF element tool focused on facilitating collaboration between people in the management and signing of PDFs using an online Wondershare service. In other words, you'll be able to have your colleagues sign the PDFs without having PDF Element even installed, as they'll be able to sign and manage their end of the documents through a web browser. Let me show you how to use this. To start using this feature, go to the Protect section and click on Electronic Signature. Your web browser will open automatically, showing you the page of Wondershare web service for signing documents. Read carefully what each of these options offers you and select the most appropriate. In this case, I will use the option on the left. Upload the document you want to sign to the cloud. You can drag and drop your files into this window or you can also use the add file button. When your document is finished, click next. In this section, you can enter other people's emails. 
Each one of them will receive an invitation to view a document and if you wish, they'll be able to sign the document. If you need your signature to appear on the document, simply check the I need to sign the document box and click next. You will now need to designate an area on the document so that you and others can sign the document. It's very simple. Just select the type of field and then drag and drop it. Once you've assigned all the fields, click on next. We're almost done. Now it's time to customize the invitations. Keep in mind that you can also set reminders to send emails again until they have signed the document. When you're ready, just click send. Done. Now all you have to do is wait for the others to sign your document. When it's time to sign the document, a notification will appear in the waiting for me section of the Wondershare Document Cloud web service. Both you and the people you have invited to sign the document will have to enter their signatures in their respective fields. Simply click on the field that corresponds to you and use any of the available methods to sign the document. Fantastic, your document is already signed. Surely you and your team will save a lot of time using this method. Let's move on to the last method for today. Number four, stamp PDF to help you review in a few seconds. If you're a civil engineer, you're probably used to working with mountains of drawing paper. Stamping your PDFs will help you review and provide feedback in just a few seconds. Stamps are very useful when you work with medium to large teams, as they allow you to notify all the readers of a PDF of your opinion in a short and direct way. With PDF Element, inserting stamps is a matter of a few seconds. Let me show you how to add stamps to your document. Go to the comment section of PDF Element. There you will find the stamp tool. Click on the stamp button and choose the stamp that best suits your thought. Now all you have to do is select the location where you want to place the stamp and adjust it so it looks good. Well, we're almost done. As you can see, there are four ways to sign your document according to your real work situation. All of them are extremely easy and allow you to solve problems that would not be possible to solve in any other way. Before we finish, apart from signing PDF on Windows, you can also complete this across any devices like Mac and iOS. Now let's get into You Ask, We Answer. Question one, how to add a signature to a PDF on Mac? Signing PDF documents on Mac in PDF Element is very similar. The only difference is that on Mac, the tool is located in the markup section. This tool is very similar to the one we saw on Windows as it will allow you to create signatures from images, mouse or trackpad. However, here you will not find the option to create a signature from text. Question two, how to sign a document on iPhone? With PDF element for iOS, signing a PDF is very easy. You just need to open your document with the application and use the signature tool found in the comment section. A window will be displayed where you can choose the signature you want to place. If you don't have one, just click create. Now you will see a tool with which you can create your signature from an image, take a photo of a signature or draw one. Choose the option that suits you best. Define the color and thickness of the line, and once you have signed, click on done. Now with the signature tool, you will be able to see the signature you just created. Select it and place it in your document. Remember that you can adjust the size of your signature using the circles in the margin. I hope this video has been helpful to you. You are now officially an expert in signing PDFs. Do not forget to like this video and leave us all of your questions in the comment sections below. Take a look at the rest of the videos we have on the channel. I'm sure you'll find many useful videos. Just try searching for the keywords you're interested in. Drop this video a like and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our regular content sharing PDF element tips. See you next time.